right, so, so the moment ago we did the power, the, the take Fourier series of x squared minus 3x using this, and we wrote down some, some big formula here. Now the significance of that is that if you drew the graph of the right side with uh, n from 1 through 1,000 or something, all over the integral of negative pi to pi, and compared it with the graph of this thing, you'll see that the two graphs are almost exactly matching. The problem is, right, after, right outside negative pi to pi, outside the inter this interval, the two functions will be completely different because this is a, a periodic function, so whatever you have on, uh, on this, this interval, they will be repeated, repeated over and over again, okay? So, and that, that's kind of like a limitation of this. You, you really uh, only have the function of function on negative pi to pi that's being approximated. So uh, it, it, in order to be more useful, we need something that's applicable for generic domain. Instead of negative pi to pi, why not from negative L to L? Or even from A to B for any, any integral A to B. So those are the things that we want. Uh, and let me show you the, f the formula first. First, what is the significance of this sine nx? Well, the significance of sine nx is the following. If you drew the graph from negative pi to pi, sine x will be the graph that goes like, like that. That's sine x. What about sine 2x? It doubles, right? Actually, it's, not, it's the opposite, sorry. Sweet. So, uh, so sine x fits one period inside negative pi to pi. If you drew the sine 2x, uh, there are two periods of sine that sine 2x that goes into negative pi to pi, and then so on and so on. Sine 3x, sine 4x. Uh, sine nx will have n copies of its graph. Uh, it's, it's one period inside this negative pi to pi, right? And uh, cosine nx also. Uh, so in, in some higher mathematics, uh, the, the language that they use for, for this Fourier series is they say, oh, sine nx and cosine nx and this constants form uh, orthogonal basis over this uh, domain negative pi to pi in the, the L2 space. That's like completely math nerd talk, which okay? so you don't have to understand. Okay? But what, what we need is if we want to change this into generic version that's, that's valid for negative L to L, you want, you want to change these functions in the following way. Uh, first, you, you want to multiply by pi 2x. What, what happens if you replace x by pi x? Do you know what happens to the graph if you replace x by pi x? I had nx, now I have n pi x. What's the result of putting this pi? Uh, what was the question? What kind of transformation do you get if you replace x by pi x? Pi times everything? Yeah, what does it do to the graph? It makes it bigger by pi? No, it doesn't get bigger. It gets smaller. It gets smaller. It contracts in the x direction by pi. Yeah. So because you had negative pi to pi, where would this fit in? If negative pi and pi was contracted <laughs> by pi, where would this fit in? One over times. It would be the same thing pi times. Oh, between negative No, no, you're, you're, you're shrinking by pi. So what do you do? You shrink divide by everything by pi, right? Negative, negative, one one. negative 1 to 1, right? So that's what you do. So this one will be from negative 1 to 1. Now you want it to be negative L to L. What do you do? You expand it back to how much? L. L. How do you do that? How do you multiply by L? In the graph, what do you have to do? Divide, divide by L. Divide by L. Okay. So that's what you need. So this is what you need in order for the free series to be 
free series over negative L to L. Okay? Bn sine n pi x over L. And that's your function f of x. And then we had we need formulas to get from a n and we need formulas for a n and b n. And just like before, we have to func multiply the function against these cosine and, and sine functions. So cosine n pi x over L, sine of n pi x over L. As we multiply, then you have to integrate over where to where? From negative L to L. Negative L to L. Yeah. Negative L to L. 1 over? L. L. So L is replacing the pi. So in fact, to see that this is the same thing as before for negative pi to pi, just make L as pi. What happens? If this is pi and L is also pi, pi pi cancels, right? So you get fx times cosine nx from negative pi to pi, 1 over pi. So it matches exactly as the old formula for the special case when L is equal to pi. But this one now. Uh, somehow we scaled everything, we shrunk, shrunk by 1 over pi, and we expanded by L so that now we have a formula from negative L to L. So that's the new formula.